program at Kearney High aims to help with food insecurities for students. In this segment of Learning Curve, Carol Staub talks with those who are helping put it together. The Learning Curve is sponsored by Kearney Public Schools, Allo Communications, and BD Construction. Welcome back. I am here at Kearney High School inside the Bearcat Cares Closet with a social worker, Mrs. Nikki Peterson, and also with someone from the Senior Class Council or Student, Student Council? Council? Student Council. Mitchell Brandt is a junior joining me right now. And in this closet, you're going to find lots of food and some necessities, some hygiene things. You're probably wondering, what are we doing in here? This is a great program. Tell us a little bit about this. Yep, so four years ago, our student council came to me and said that there's a need, that we need to help our families, we need to help the students. Can you help us, Mrs. Peterson, put together a program to help fill the need of food insecurities of our kiddos? So what started as a vision has now developed into a really cool closet. So once a week, kids can come to me. Mm -hmm. They go home with a bag of food for the weekend, you know, a lot of ready-to-eat meals that kids can fix on their own. Right, and I think it's just such a great idea because students, you know, your peers, Mitchell, need this, but you were telling me earlier, you didn't know that students here in your own school needed this until you got involved with this, Yeah, right? it's not something that you're not necessarily gonna notice because everyone has lunch here at school, that's not an issue, so it's not mm -hmm. like an issue where you won't see someone get food because there's all those programs to help with lunch, but at, once they go home, it's not something you see at school, so it's not something you wouldn't know unless mm -hmm. you are involved here. Now, you and Sam help stock this uh, food closet. Why do you guys do this? Um, so I guess yeah, we are part of the student council, and this year we are the committee chairs for the service committee, so we do all that sort of stuff. But it's I enjoy doing all this. I, I, really, I really enjoy being able to help people. And so not only is it like helping here, but it's right. a community outreach bit, like going doing our food drives. We get to go interact with people out, out in the public, but then you, you get to do all this right. all this here and make a good impact on the world. Right, and helping your friends that you don't know that need the help. And Mrs. Pearson, you had mentioned too that the kids can come um, and get these products wherever they need, but you need your, your shelves stocked more than they are right now. Right, so the beginning of the school year, we do a lot of fundraisers, but that usually don't happen until October. Mm -hmm. So the beginning of the school year, we kind of rely on community members to drop things off. Our staff do a great job of supporting the closet, so they donate to our closet, and we are fully funded only on donations. So as you can see, we are in need, so we welcome donations. You can drop them off at the school, contact me through the school, I'd be happy to pick them up. Mm -hmm. So whatever we can do to support our kids and their families. So if there's someone watching right now that doesn't even have a student here, they can still do that knowing that the need is here. Absolutely, we would love and welcome all donations to support our kids. Now your um, student organization also helps with some fundraisers and there was one in October, a food drive, correct? Tell me yeah, about that. Yeah, and so I guess bef obviously before all the food gets in here, but we had a food drive. Uh, we go to three grocery stores, Apple Market, Family Fresh, and Bogarts. Mm -hmm. um, they've been great people to work with, but we go stay in our front. Um, we kind of we hand out slips and say, hey, this is kind of what we're looking for. This is what we're currently in need, and mm -hmm. um, most of the time it's usually quite a bit. But we hand them. They either sometimes they give us money, or sometimes they go in while they're shopping, just with the regular shopping, grab a couple extra things, and hand it to us on their way out. You know, and everyone needs to do that if you see them. You know, at any of these stores, any time of the year. Clothes are another thing that students can get here. Yes, we do have a clothing closet as well. As well, we have a lot of students that come that are in need of shoes and jackets, and you know, during the winter time, the mittens and the hats. We just have a lot of kids in need. You know, you'd be surprised that what kids need during you know, I, all I, season. I am surprised, and I think we're all surprised because we don't realize the need is here, and we need to help if we can. So, again, you can drop things off here at the school. Call them, contact. You know, if you have you know a child in school have them bring things so thank you both for what you do and for helping the kids that are in need um, because again it's it's bigger than any of us can realize and you are you're touching you're changing lives as you mentioned so thank you thank appreciate you. it and we'll be right back stay with us